Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Arverni campaign. So, off the camera, I uh, conquered Larissa, it was an all resolve, you know, just the, the basic garrison stuff. And now, what I actually want is for the Macedonians, the, the Rhodes, Athens, everyone to just unload their damn armies, so I can start sniping them out. Because while they are here on this region, this sea region, then I can't be sure if they won't take Pella and other cities, you know, like Athens and such. So, I'll keep going with these two armies against Athens, and then against Sparta, and hopefully that will draw a few of their armies in. They are even sending a few fleets, but that's no big deal. In the meantime, we are still waiting over here at IOL. And it's time for me to make an end turn, I believe. Let me check one thing. Oh, one thing that I've been checking, Rayati and Norican is rising. So every, every province is rising, actually. Uh, to the point where it's actually cool. There's actually no problem at all with happiness anywhere. You know, even the, the, the lowest ones are rising. And just Aquitania is lowering by minus three, which is nothing. You know, I can buy fleets for that. But oh well. Let me end up the turn for now. Oh wait, I do have some stuff to assign. Oh, of course, the armies, they gained a few traits. It's actually the, this guy. Oh, nice, public order, of course. And was the other army as well? Where? Where was it? The Hounds of Armageddon. Oh, it was you, gentlemen. Uh, zeal, no, I want the virtue, of course. Just give it more virtue stuff. And that's it. Now I can end up the turn. Let me skip the end turn for you guys. Oh, I forgot this champion. Well, he's gonna get there. Uh, well, I guess I can see Macadon's uh, end turn. Okay, a small army there. <laughs> that was Macadon's end turn? Poor boy. And Sparta? Oh, there we go, Sparta. There we go. Now they have a few armies over there. In Athens, come on, go and protect your own city, because I'm going to capture it, and then Athens is not going to have anything. Yeah. Well, let me skip the turn. Okay, everyone, so after the end turn, what did I do? Uh, the Midi was completely unprotected, and even with a weaker army, a uh, weaker garrison, I mean, and... These two armies retreated from that path, so it made it much easier. In other news, I'm uh, completely moving this army. I've decided I'm actually going to move it here to Carthage. Why? Because it's... Because I want to. That's basically why. Well, I think I actually have more armies here who need to be upgraded than actually on the other side, on this side. I think I can upgrade them. You know, if I retreat them all over to R Norea here, you know, which is quite r easily to reach with my armies, I can upgrade them. So no point not doing so. What are we going to do on this episode? We are going to fight all of these Athenian armies and draw them out of Athens. That's what we are going to do. For that... I need to have my uh, armies deployed, especially the best ones. I don't want the Champions of Armorica, uh, nor the Boar Braves. I want Catubadua's flight there. I actually wanted them, these guys to attack, but oh well, that's not going to be possible. Yes, I know there is some transports here, but I think one of my armies can reach Apollonia and defend it. I know that I will have some troubles in uh, the province of Macedonia, but I'm hoping for it, actually. And this is the army, the Thunderbolts of Taranis. is the army that it's going to attack everything here. So let's check it out, shall we? Oh, wow! They are not actually sending anything. This is the garrison army, which is mobs and some light hoplites. These guys have some light hoplites. I think I could actually even take these guys out like this, but I certainly want my reinforcements to appear. I don't know why they are not coming in. Come on. You, wards, aren't you attacking? 
Come on, let's position you here, shall we? Come on. You can, of course you can. Come on. Caterpillar's flight. Can you attack and have someone else invade? I think I don't. Yeah, goals love the open road. Come on, move here. That's it. Now move here. Uh, hate this pathfinding. Can't I attack with my armies in? Well, I can't actually attack now. I could attack with this guy. Well, whatever. Yeah, certainly improved because Katabudu's flight will be there. Yeah, I didn't want to start with these oak warriors, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Let's fight it out on the battlefield. This is most of Athens' armies right now. And yeah, the Battle of Athens. Oh, there's a hill to take on. Hmm, interesting. Actually, not the best terrain to attack like this, but I guess that's it. So they have about 700 men here, plus 5,000 men. And I have about 5,000 men, so yeah. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. Very well. I'm not going to show a lot of battles on, on these uh, engagements here, guys. Just in the interests of actually finishing the campaign before I'm... You know, just because the campaign is so long. You know, it's so long. It should... Even on the, the newest... Um, uh, not patch, but on, on the newest uh, mission objectives, it's taking a long time. Okay, so the hill is actually not as important as it seems because it isn't, you know, it isn't as uh, steep as I would hope for. As I was waiting, actually. Okay, you're going to take away the skirmish mode. Spear warriors will comprise my main battle front. Celtic warriors will deploy here. And on the other side, that's it. I wish I actually... Should I drop away? I don't know. And you, gentlemen, you're gonna be here. Start up the battle, shall we? Not this. This one. Okay. So you're gonna have explosive rounds. I don't know where you can reach. Barely there. That's nice. That's nice. Enemy reinforcements where? On that side. And my own reinforcements are also approaching now. But this is actually huge forces, I gotta say. By the way, this is after patch 9, so I'm expecting a few changes, especially on the the behavior of their units. Okay, they are sending their units over there. So I guess retreating would be an option, you know, retreating to a better position. Oh well, I might just try to reach for the hill. I don't know if that would be a nice static or not. I have some mercenary pelters there. I have three units of ballistas. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ready to rain down death. Yeah, rain down death. Let's position those ballistas here. Yeah, their armies are still gonna take a while before appearing. You hunger for blood in battle? Very well. Very well. Let's move you here. So they are actually moving quite... Uh, quite fast, I gotta say. Let me just sum you, summon you here as fast as I can, because they are rushing, I gotta say. Spear warriors! Spear warriors, move over there. Melee fighters, ready. Melee fighters. That's it. Give your box to... To that hill, gotta say. Activate the cavalry counter tactics. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on, men. Go for it, dudes. Go for it. Now, my cavalry, I think I can deploy these guys and destroy all of them really fast. Especially before all my troops arrive, which they are arriving, I gotta say, but... Oh well, there is some hippies lances there. 
Yes, deploy here. That's it. Let's put you in quick reload. Take away the skirmish mode. Yeah, I know my general is under attack. Why is he through there? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's war cry. Dear general. Intimidate. Dear general as well. Now charge. Frenzy charge over there. Frenzy charge on their general. Girls, move forward. Go, Spears. That's only cavalry. Actually, you guys, I'm gonna stop your fire. Hold on, stop your fire. You can deploy here. Spearmen. Spearmen. Spear nobles. Group in front of these. Group behind them. Cavalry. Group up with these cavalry units and deploy here. That's it. What else do we have here? Spears! Attack those hippies general or the, those hippies lancers and skirmisher cav, will you? The rest of my units, you're gonna group up, actually group up with these men and withdraw to the best position, which is behind everything else. Yeah, it seems like my cavalry is going to be deployed. You can attack Actually, everyone fire at will. You are firing at will. Okay, let me deploy here. Come on, group three. They are wavering. I think I'm gonna let them come against me. Doesn't seem to be of too much concern. Explosive round. Group three. Deploy here. Come on. Group seven. Group seven. Deploy here. That's it. Group 4. Deploy here. On fast forward. One spearman. That's it. Deploy over there. That's it. So there's a lot of units coming in forward. You know, let me show you their units. These are light hoplites. These are Citizen Cav, which you've seen me use. These are some Hoplites. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, Cavalry certainly waver a little bit more backwards. Spears! You're gonna form Shield Screen, I guess. That's it, because they are certainly going against you. Oh, those are mobs, really? Is he attacking with mobs on this side? Yeah, he is. That's it. Spear nobles, charge them in. Okay, time to charge. That's it. Charge through them. Frenzy. 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 Good. What is this? Skirmisher cavalry. Fine. Go! Go! Every horseman goes! Okay, you're gonna hang on. I don't know if my spear warriors will hang on, actually, but they seem to be working pretty well. Let's attack those slingers, shall we? That's it. You're going to retreat over there. These archers don't need to be attacked. Militia hoplites? Well, actually, you, Spear Nobles, you're going to attack those hoplites. So here comes my cavalry force. Charge on that light hoplites. Charge on the skirmisher cavalry. General, charge over there. Charge over there, and let's see the charge here of the fight. Look at that, much better, huh? Now we can actually see something. Light Hoplites, poor boys. They are holding up their formation. Look at that. Very interesting, huh? Charge through. Charge over there. That's it. Where is my general? 
Charge. That's not my general. Doesn't matter. You're gonna stop your fire because you're hurting me, my men. Uh, yeah, I got it. Where is everything happening? Come on. Charge here. Frenzy, let me watch that charge. Through the hoblites. Good. It immediately destroyed their formation. That's very good. These guys are wavering now. Charge them. So I'm not losing too much troops. That's good. What else do we have here? It seems like he's still sending some troops away. Let's deploy. What is that? Veteran hoplites. Oh, oh now they are shattered. That's fine. Okay, very nice. Let's continue and pursue everyone. Yeah, it seems that Athens' troops are utterly destroyed. Even though I was actually hanging on with just my basic infantry, you know? The spear nobles and such. But of course I will replace them with those sworn in... Uh, not the spear nobles, the spear... Spear warriors. Yeah, but the spear nobles are much better, so I will replace them as... When, well, whenever I can, of course. Maybe... Oh, I'm getting a lot of traits, it seems. So... I didn't conquer the city, of course, you know, but their garrison is quite uh, destroyed, I gotta say. So I might just be able to do that on the next episode, I believe. Yeah, my oak warriors are quite depleted, I gotta say, so I would force the march away, but I can't. And I also can't hire any mercenaries. So hopefully these men will be able to you know, defend my uh, troops. Certainly Katapudo's flight can do that. And that would uh, do the trick, let's say. So I want to send some unit here to defend against the Spartans. I believe it will be these boar braves. And these headhunters. Well, I actually wanted to attack here, the companions of Cerberus, while they are over there. And I still have my three ballistas. So I guess it's a good idea now. I haven't skipped the end turn. Oh, I have, of course. Let me check here. They do have one army. Eris is dread. And the garrison here. I guess this is a much interesting battle. So let's go for it, guys. So what does he have? One royal peltas, which is interesting. Several peltas units and some mercenaries. Mercenarization Bowman, that's interesting. The garrison is not interesting at all. He's he's giving me less advantage as per the, the patch. So let's just assault it. Two battles on one episode, guys, just for you. I keep confusing my uh, uh, campaigns, actually, guys. Just because, well, I'm on this campaign. I'm on the Averni campaign and I'm conquering Macedonia, which I was recently conquering with Macedonia. It's really, really awkward to be playing all of these moments. Oh, the enemy is selling out, which is even better for me. Yeah, very good. So I got my OP army against his not OP army, you know. And I think I'll I'll manage. I do have my slingers instead of my skirmishers. I wanted to try them out, which is... Yeah, I guess it's the best uh, idea to to consider that, you know the best chance to do that it's when uh, with a one versus one battle so my ballistas although I only have two will cause a lot of damage explosive rounds special oh wait especially aimed at the royal peltists and my slingers will do the same thing you know they will be behind the ballistas shooting them up actually not behind them in front of them that's it. My main line will actually be the Oath Sworn. Yeah. That's it. These guys will be the middle. And two rows of Spear Nobles will be on the sides. I've said this on the uh, last episode. This I really like this configuration, you know? Spear Nobles can protect against everything on the flanks. While my cavalry is free to do whatever it wants. Because it has, of course the spear nobles protecting them you know even if you do something like this would be very interesting 
you know? But for the, the sake of this uh, battle, let's go like that. You already have the explosive round? Yeah, let's start up the battle. Can you attack anyone? Let me position you a bit better. I guess you can't, you can barely. Well, we're gonna hit some Peltests. And hopefully some Hopletters and Royal Peltests there. Now they do maintain their formation, you know, the the best troops. Come on. That's Spear, that's Tarantine Cavalry. I guess I'm gonna tell you to hit the Hopletters. You're gonna hit the Royal Peltests. That's it. Few Peltists dead. My skirmishers will certainly need a quick reload as soon as possible. I really like this camera mod. It's much better. It's not actually a mod. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. Those Royal Peltists suffered some heavy losses there. Well, not heavy, but they're suffering from being completely messed up. Look at that formation. Yeah, raise your shields. Raise your shields, man. That's it, I'm still hitting a few of them. Okay, so what do we have here? The Thessalian Cavalry. <laughs> Let's charge you up. Let's charge you up. Spearman, certainly you can move here. Can you... What is this? Hoplet is... Militia Hoplet's there. Let's move my old swan forward now. His middle line is actually the weakest, I gotta say. Noble horse! Come on, charge them! Charge and charge! You gentlemen, charge over there! Yeah, this flank is actually the weakest. What is this? Go! Charge! That's it. I'm actually going to send you after you've taken over that mob. That's it. That's it. You guys, get over there. How's everything here? You're going to defeat them? Yes, you are, of course. Noble horsemen. These the Thessalian cavalry will die, of course. Spear nobles, they're not suffering from you. Headhunt them. That's it. Oh, they have some foot companions. And the Royal Peltists are managing some damage. Slingers! You gentlemen. Oh, you can actually attack like this. Frenzy charge! Slingers! Take those Peltas. Take those Slingers. Spear Nobles! Can attack those Hobletters. Noble Horse! Move away. Where is my General? Can certainly attack that Tarantine Cavalry. Come on. Spear Nobles, get back to the job. Noble yeah, Noble Halls are doing some damage there. Oh, nice shot, I gotta say. Spear Nobles, the Royal Pelters are steady, but for now longer. Now he can actually attack. Horsesworn are getting trampled by these Royal Pelters. You're gonna attack those. Come on. Horsesworn attacking archers. Well, I certainly didn't win that. Okay, let's go for the charge. That will ruin their days. Where are you? There you are. Take those slingers. Take those. What are you? You're doing fine, actually. Where's the other horseman? Where's my other horseman unit? Oh, there you are. Well, this is actually... Ah, damn you. Hoblet this. Let's keep... Hitting them. Oath Sworn, come on. Hit them on the backs. Where's the other cavalry unit of mine? There you are. Not. There you are. Come on, charge over there. Spear, charge. Charge there. That's it. Charge them down. Charge them down. Where are my old sworn? Did you manage? Yes, you managed. Let's attack those hoplites now. Slingers attack here. Attack here. You can stop your fire. 
And I should be able to win this battle now. As you can see, these battles now last for way longer. Yeah. Especially when they do have a lot of units like this. Where are you going? Now they are wavering and wavering and these hoppers are getting destroyed. Everyone is wavering. I think I'm gonna win. Yeah. There goes the general. That was an interesting battle, I gotta say. Come on. <laughs> Let's continue and pursue. Quite a close victory, he says, but that's mostly because of the quality of men deployed, including the uh, casualties that I took. But nevertheless, he, uh, I think he doesn't have anything there. He must have sent in all, almost every unit back. This was actually a good example on why the Hobbitists have been, uh, on how the Hobbitists have been, been buffed, you know, because I should have destroyed these, this force with much, uh, well, much easily. Let's go for it. Another conquest, my lord. So two, three, four the conquests on this episode. I guess that's good. By the way, in technology terms, I'm going for intensified production because of the Potter's Workshop. That's why I'm not making as much money. You know, oh, we always learn some stuff when we are doing this, uh, these playthroughs. And I did learn. I did learn a lot, actually. Oh, I only need 400. Yeah, especially because I haven't been using the, the best uh, ideas for buildings. Well, one never knows how to improve that one, actually. Shots per minute? No. Morale? Morale and authority? Cunning? Shipbuilding goes? Safari? Zeal? Melee attack skill. Let's go. Let's go with that. And the warrior, of course. So that will be it for today. On the next episode, we will fight this battle. If it is anything interesting, I will, you know, I will fight it out. If it isn't, well, I guess it won't be, because these three Celtic ballistas will destroy their forces before they even get a chance to do anything. Although that's the Salian cavalry, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Um, nevertheless, we are in a good position, in a good spot now. He does have two armies right there. I hope he doesn't send both armies against Apollonia. Hmm. You know, he could send them away. These are Pediocoi Hoplites. They are not to be trifled with. But well, that'll be on the next episode. And hopefully I can actually... Oh, I would be able to engage Ibosin right from here. That's interesting. You know, I will get this... Uh, oh, I can issue this. Good. I will get this army back from the Midi to IOL and these two armies will keep pursuing all of the Saltici over to Tingis. When they conquer Tingis, they will conquer Migdal, head back to Tingis, conquer Gadida and head into the Iberian Peninsula. In the meantime, this army will reinforce. And also this uh, small fleet right there should do a lot of job, a lot of, a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. So, yeah, goodbye. Cheers, guys.